Hi everyone and welcome to the Blackwire Designs uh, driver manager tutorial. We're going to go through this pretty quickly uh, so we can learn about the new features of this, this pretty cool driver that we have and how it works. First I'm just going to go to my account and I click on the my systems uh, icon there and you can see this is a new setup that we have. Uh, you can see that there is a, a, a system called Beach House and Key West that's down and not working. It's completely offline and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and not resolve that one. That one's a fake test system. You can see that it was seen an hour ago, has a fake MAC address. Nothing's installed on it, um, but it tells us that we need to go ahead and update to, uh, to the latest version of Driver Manager. Um, and that link will take us right to the download page for this. Uh, it's right here. Uh, you can click on and download the, the latest driver, which in this case is 149. It may be different when you go to download it, but uh, just make sure that you have the latest version. Uh, before you head out and install one of these systems. Driver Manager, uh, we came up with this idea for a couple of reasons. One, we needed a, a method, I absolutely needed a method to uh, uh, update drivers in the field. Uh, we have so many drivers out there from, from all of our dealers, and we can see which ones are coming in and which ones haven't been updated. Uh, you know, they get installed and they just kind of sit there and turn along, and, and we may find bugs uh, that, 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 are, that are in these uh, drivers, and there's nothing that we can do to push out those updates. So the second, the second thing is, and this is a, a killer feature of the driver manager, is that it gives us the ability to bring our entire cloud infrastructure down into the controller itself and do all of our licensing authentication locally. All of our trials, everything gets done locally on the controller rather than having to go back out into the cloud and, and ask every time and, and say the internet's down. Sometimes the internet goes down and the license may get messed up and, and, and deauthorize and then you have a whole system that becomes down and, and a client that's calling is angry because the license you know they they the license went out because it couldn't reach the server and that's that's not a good good situation to be in either so we've really spent some time putting this together to where everything gets managed locally as, as much as possible um, now that doesn't mean that you shouldn't keep it online and you shouldn't keep it online but we, we have this is we have this system in place um, our drivers and, and licensed drivers and our partners drivers that utilize this can be installed on systems that have no internet access whatsoever. So say you have a commercial uh, situation that you need our DBX driver on, uh, that license, once you get it installed on the system, it, it will authenticate locally. And I'll show you how that works, but it will stay authenticated locally and never have to go back out. And you can put it in what, what we call standby mode and uh, there, there will not be any communication. It becomes completely locked down and there's no communication into or out of the driver um, except what happens locally on the controller. So let's go ahead and download that and get it installed in our system and see how it works. Okay, you can see I'm over here on, on a home system and uh, I've got a nice little working folder here that we're just gonna pop these drivers into. Uh, there's two different drivers I have here. One of them is a, an API test driver that we provide to our partners, and I'm just kind of using that as a test driver to show you how this works. Uh, and so you can see if you install that first, it's going to say, hey, required Blackwire license manager driver is not found. Please install. Well, you need to install the driver manager first. So before you go out and install all these drivers, uh, make sure you install the driver manager driver first. I don't, I think this will still work if you uh, install it later, but it, it's definitely designed to be installed and be working on the system before you start adding drivers in. So we're going to search for manager. And there's the uh, version 149 that added in. And you can see that you're presented here with the username and password prompts. Now, if you are your dealer, single, single staff dealer, whatever, you can use your Blackwire uh, login. I don't recommend that because uh, if you have any installers out in the field that are doing these, this programming, you may not want to hand them your username and password to the Blackware site. Uh, but what you can do is grab this install token off the website there and use that. So tell your, your installers to use the install token. Uh, this isn't a unique uh, key or anything. It's not a password for your system. All it does is pair this system with your account on the Blackwire Designs website. So when you go there, it'll be in the table here. Uh, as you can see, the install token is here on this page, on your manager page, and mine is loud 19 day. I can tell my installer that's what it is and have them write that down on their phone or uh, send it to them in an email and they can reference it. Uh, but if you ever want to regenerate it, just click the link here 
and it will reload and give you a new one. So here's my Bell 26 Milk. I'm going to use that. And come over here, put it into the install token field. And if all goes well, it will log in. Uh, you can see your company name should pop up at the top. You can see that auto restarts off. We'll, we'll go through these settings here in a minute, but zero drivers need to be updated. And then you have a next system update check on Monday, June 10th at 1.43 a.m. And you can see that conveniently is right within the time frame that we have for our restart time frame. Now, the first setting that you have on here is the auto restart. And I recommend you turn that on. Uh, otherwise, the driver updates that get done won't happen until the system actually reboots or restarts itself. So um, it's a good idea to go ahead and set that to on. So when the drivers do get updated, and then this time frame rolls around, this Monday, this, this 72 hours out rolls around, um, the system will restart if there are any any driver updates that have happened. There may not be. But if there are any that have been on there, it, it will go ahead and restart within that time frame. Now, say uh, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock is better. We'll go ahead and hit set on that, and it will just pick a random time in there uh, that will go out and uh, update and do the reboot of the controller. Uh, this danger zone here has a couple of different settings in it. One, The first one's actually pretty benign. Uh, check for updates. You can click on that. And it'll basically do the, the, the update, the check-in process that, that generates this message here. So you'll see it change. Yep, so it'll change to 3.50 a.m. So it's still within the window, um, but everything's been updated. And uh, that's one of those things that we may ask you to do if you, you call in for support, is to just do a quick check for updates and make sure everything's all good there. Uh, release a license, that's pretty straightforward. We'll go over that later. Join a beta, that's our beta teams. Uh, restart director and obviously just restarts director it doesn't reboot the controller rebooting the controller is just like going into the, the uh, SSH and uh, typing in reboot on the controller it will reboot the controller and then log out will log you out of this all together here so if I hit that it will log you out and give you back the username and password but we're gonna go ahead and log back in and get this system set back up and then what I want to do is go ahead and install those test drivers that we had. And you can see once you install them, they have this feature called auto trial on them. And if you notice down over here, if you look at all of our driver downloads, you'll see some features on, on here. Uh, one is a 72 hour auto trial uh, dealer demo. That's our showroom demo. So if you see this on a driver, it could be one of our drivers or our partner drivers, make sure you click that. It'll, it'll bring you to the information on how, you, you can use your system and be eligible for a dealer demo. It, it's perfectly compatible with Blackwire, uh, the, the Blackwire driver manager. Uh, so both of these features will work on our drivers and without a problem. So if you see them on here, uh, these are the features that the driver has. So make sure you check those out and see what they are. 72 hour auto trial should be pretty straightforward is what that is. And it is once you install this driver, it will give you the auto trial license. It'll tell you when the license ends uh, here it's 72 hours from now which is pretty late uh 10 37 and if i add more drivers in you can see that the system automatically gives them those uh, licenses as well now if i go back over to our web page here on the manager site uh, our systems page on the website if i hit refresh i should get oh there's the home system it's online, not offline, and uh, it's been checking in. Let's see, it's got, well, it's got the auto trial for one of the drivers that was installed, but I guarantee if we clip, click this again uh, in a couple minutes here, it will update and we'll have all three of those uh, drivers that, that show that were installed. And then time remaining, about three days. Uh, of course, that will change to hours when it gets closer to being hours. So. Uh, this that's pretty much how this works. Auto trial will be on here. Let's go ahead and install a license on this uh, particular driver and see how that changes this field here for you in the future. Okay, so I've gone to the website and I've, I've got my driver license for the API uh, light, uh, demo driver and I'm going to paste that in. There's the license from the Blackwire site. This driver manager is going to go online, grab the license information, bring it back down to the controller, and now all the licensing information is done locally. It's, it doesn't really have to go back out and, and register this again. 
Uh, you can see here that every one of these drivers on here that needed the license got the license applied to it. And uh, if you ever need to free up that license, you can always go there, there to the danger zone and hit release license, and it'll give you a list here of which drivers have the license. So this is the license. If I selected that one, it would release it. I don't really want to do that right now, um, so I'll hit cancel. Uh, but that'll give me the ability to uh, basically uh, release the license and free it up on the server as well so that I can reuse that on another project. Let's check back over here to see if those updates have been applied to the, the, the server. And uh, yep, they are. So uh, you can see the license is listed here. You can also see now I have an action to release this license. Of course, with the trial, we don't have that option because it's not really a license. It's just a trial license. So um, I can hit release this license. It'll take about 60 seconds, maybe two minutes for that to completely go through. But once it does, uh, you can sit here and push this button a couple times and, and see it refresh. And the license will be gone and the actions will be gone. But it'll still tell you that you have three of these drivers installed and, and the version number that's on there. Let's go ahead and talk about the other two settings that we have here on the page um, that are pretty important. The dealer demo, this is how you set this system up for dealer showroom licenses. Uh, you, you're, you, you click this and you hit set and it's gonna go online and register, see if the system is registered. Now, how do you get this system to be registered? Well, if you look under, most of the drivers have this link here that say, says dealer demo, uh, if they're eligible for that program. Uh, but you can also scroll up to your My Account and click on the showroom demo license for more information about that particular program. There'll be some changes coming to that in the future, but uh, this is how it works. And what you're gonna wanna do is, is you can type in the MAC address of your, of your system here and uh, submit that in. And when you go back over to the driver and click set, that's gonna register this system as your dealer demo. And then you can set the licenses appropriately on that. Okay, and the last, the last setting we want to go over is the manager mode. Now, this online mode is what we recommend you keep all of your systems in. Uh, again, all the licenses are always going to be um, authenticated locally. There's no going out back. Once it does it the first time, there's no going back out to the Internet and verifying the licenses or anything. Uh, what you want... what there are situations where you want no network activity whatsoever coming from the, from the system, and uh, we do offer that option. Uh, again, I, we don't recommend this using it because it completely cuts off the system from any updates. Uh, it cuts it off from being available online to send you know, test messages and troubleshooting to. So we recommend keeping everything in online mode, uh, and, and, and I'll show you how standby works here in a second. We'll go ahead and put this one in standby. Uh, what it'll do is it'll go back and it'll say standby is enabled. It is checked in to our system here. And if we go refresh this page, we can see that now the home system is in standby. And I can't do anything with this. It will say last seen, uh, you know, hours, days ago. Uh, I can't do anything with this system at all. All the licenses become locked. Uh, there's really nothing that we can do with this system from a troubleshooting standpoint or diagnostic standpoint. Uh, until it is brought back out of standby, uh, either locally or by dialing in. So go back to bring that online. You're going to get all your settings back uh, about the auto restart and all that good stuff. And uh, we go ahead and hit refresh on this. And you can see that it has come back online and my options to do uh, my system actions and release licenses. That's all come back to. So we definitely recommend just, you know, for keeping up with what systems are online and offline, uh, the best thing we can do is keep it in uh, this online mode and let let the system do, do what it needs to do to keep drivers updated. Uh, standby mode is a very, or putting the manager in standby mode, it's a very particular use case uh, that we don't recommend for every install. And that wraps up all the features of the Blackwire Driver Manager. Again, there is a form right below this video. If you have any questions, comments, uh, suggestions, uh, please submit them through that form and we'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching.